Welcome to video 14 of League of Confessors. This video will help you to understand the most crucial hero action of the hero stage, the publish ability. The only heroes that have the ability to publish are the Confessors. The Lutheran League will be seeking to publish their confessional writings as fast and as far as they can. This is the greatest advantage that the Lutherans have on the Catholics. The Catholics have the power, the numbers, the better generals, but the Lutherans have confessors who are publishing the Word of God in the clear confession of the Gospel. The Catholic League also have confessors, but for the most part, they are just circulating papal bulls and threats to scare people back under the auspices of Rome. Regardless of which side you are playing, the published hero action will make or break you. Not only can groups of soldiers leave the other league for your side, but you will see that heroes with their entire armies can ultimately be turned by conversion or pressure and turn the tide on your enemy. You will find that out in video 15 when we introduce the convert hero skill. To perform the publish hero action, choose an adjacent enemy territory as your target. Bohemia is the choice and the confessor is Nicholas von Amsdorf. When publishing, if you have the Publish 1 ability, which is this little book with a 1, you would roll 1 dice. If you had the Publish 2 ability, which is this little book with a 2, you'd roll 2 dice. If you had the Publish 3 ability, you would roll 3 dice. This process of publishing simulates the number of conversions that would take place in the territory once that confessional writing is introduced. So let's say that Nicholas von Amstorf had the Publish 3 ability. He would be rolling 3 dice, and he got 1 cross. For every cross that you roll, 1 soldier marker from either the army mat, this is the, the defending uh, party's choice, either from the army mat or from the territory, would join uh, the confessor's side. John Frederick's side in this case. So you would take the red soldier marker and replace it with a blue soldier marker, and it would directly go either onto the territory itself, if there's room, there's only room for one on the territory, or into the army mat. Now John Frederick, the magnanimous, cannot take any more soldier markers into his army mat because at this point he does not have the lead three hero ability. So he could directly put this soldier marker onto the territory. Now if you rolled again, because you have the hero uh, action ability, um, the action two ability, which means Nicholas von Amstorf has two hero actions on his turn, you rolled again and you got another cross, um, this soldier marker would also be converted, but there would be no place in the hero army mat of the territory to go, so that soldier marker would simply be removed from play. All right, so um, there's one other thing to note. There is a range two ability. Um, some heroes also have the range three ability. This means that you could actually publish a writing two territories away, away, for instance, in Austria or Moravia. With the range 3 ability, you could actually publish a confessional writing three territories away. Now, with the buildings, there is a specific building that gives confessors a distinct advantage, and it is the church. If you have a prince that has built a church on the territory where the confessor is standing, they get an additional die roll. So this means that Nicholas von Amstorf at this point could actually roll four dice into a territory wherever he's publishing a writing. So that is uh, the publish hero action, and in our next video we'll explain the convert hero ability.